Well, I've had a lot of people ask me how I, you know, got started in taxidermy, and it's been kind of a long road already, but, uh, you know, years ago, hunting and fishing and kind of growing up in the outdoors with, with my family, that started a passion for the outdoors. And uh, I'd always been interested in, in art and loved to paint, loved to draw, and uh, just photograph and be in nature. And um, it kind of started my drive as to what was out there for a career that I could do that would allow me to share that with other people. And um, years ago, I went to taxidermy school and, and studied um, under some really fine taxidermists and um, really taught me the ropes and the basics of, of what it takes to do a good quality mount. And, um, you know, graduating from school I, in uh, 2001, I, I started my, my business, Lone Leaf Taxidermy, and um, basically just set a clear goal for myself as what I really wanted to accomplish um, is, is career-wise was to do the very best taxidermy um, that I could and not sell anyone short on what someone's really capable of having, having the details that a live animal should have, and portraying our business as, as a professional studio that can accommodate sportsmen um, and their trophies from all over the world. And it's taken a lot of you know, study and you know, a lot of dedication and learning how to really look at a live animal and to see those details. So starting my business when I was uh, 22 years of age wasn't an easy thing. It's kind of a leap of faith. And um, you know, I think, I think having that leap of faith is sometimes the best thing that you can have going for you as a business owner because you're laying it all on the line. And I knew even at that age that I was gonna have to prove myself. I was, I was one of the younger guys in the area doing taxidermy and um, so getting people through the doors was, wasn't was always easy because just starting out being a young guy and, and you know, people can, trusting you with their trophies, that's, that's not an easy thing to do right off the bat. Um, but slowly, you know, I had more and more people come through and give me an opportunity. You know, that's all I could ask them for. And, and I know that from those opportunities, that's, that's my chance to make them a customer for life. And that's what, what I focus on. I focus on not meeting their expectations, but to exceed them. And over the years, I've realized that I've got some of the, the best customers that, that you could ask for. Um, from going from people that were somewhat of an acquaintance to, uh, to dear friends, that when they come through the door, you realize how much time um, and effort they have in acquiring that trophy. And to me, that just pushes me that much harder to really produce something that not meets their expectations but exceeds them. And you know, over the course of the last 15 to 16 years from going from acquaintances and just getting to meet those customers to the point of they come in and they're excited because they know that we're going to offer them something new and unique and we're going to try and accommodate all of their needs. And I found more and more um, people coming in and saying, Casey, this is my budget, you're the artist, surprise me. And that really soaks me in because I realize that they have given me not just their trophy, but they've given me free range to do whatever I would like to do as an artist to portray it in what I feel is the most artistic way um, to, to express who I am, but to also capture what it is that they remember in that hunt. And, um, you know, I take that really serious. I think what I want most people to know about Lone Leaf Taxidermy is that we desire to give you a positive experience. I've talked to a lot of people over the years, I've uh, heard a lot of horror stories about taxidermy experiences that they've had, trophies that have been stolen, deposits that have been taken, um, taxidermy that wasn't met in a, in a timely manner. And I think a lot of places overpromise and underdeliver. And we want to do the opposite of that. We, we want to not only meet your expectations, but to exceed them. And that's really our ultimate goal, is to be a positive experience from the time that you call us on the phone or come through that door. You know exactly who we are. You know that we're professional, that we're going to make every effort to make your experience something that you want to come back 
and have again some time when you acquire another trophy or you have a friend that is a successful and you say, you know what, I know, a, I know a place that you can go that is going to give you exactly what you desire. So over the past few years, we've been able to compete at some of the very high level taxidermy competitions and have done relatively well. And what I love about the competition is that I'm able to have a very uh, high level judge look at my work and tell me how to improve it, which is really my ultimate goal. And you know, I guess with Lone Leaf Taxidermy, the only judges that really matter are the clients that come through my doors. So where do we see Lone Leaf Taxidermy going in the future? Um, I guess time will tell. We, we know that what we've done in the past over the last 15 to 16 years works. Um, that people desire high quality, they desire artistry, they desire it to be done in a timely manner, and you know, quite frankly, it all comes back to our, our slogan in our business, which is preserving memories one at a time. And that's our ultimate goal. No matter where this business goes in the future, our goal is to preserve those memories because that's something you can't have back. And I think that's really valuable and we're gonna stay with it.